Have you ever watched a live video online during the event? Do you ever wonder what happens behind the scenes in terms of network usage and resources? Hi, I'm Shashi Merigu. I'm a technical director at Riverbed. I work on Steelhead and Steel Connect products. Of all the applications that run on a typical enterprise network, video is often the one that consumes the most bandwidth. For example, HD quality video streams take about four to five megabits per second per stream. If you are responsible for the network bill, imagine the surge in the bandwidth used during popular events such as March Madness. Your employees live streaming these sporting events or any other live broadcast could effectively bring your network down. Throttling the bandwidth used or putting a cap on the bandwidth used for videos is a typical solution that's implemented. But it comes at the cost of degraded end user experience especially for video streams that are critical for your business, such as a corporate broadcast from your CEO to all the employees, buffering delays, dropped frames, or unsynchronized audio and video could lead your employees to just tune out and turn off completely. Simply upgrading your network circuits to a higher bandwidth is not always a solution. There's a better way to do that. Let me explain how Riverbed solution can not only save your network bandwidth costs, but also ensure high quality end user experience. But before that, let's look at the different types of video that you find on the enterprise networks. There are two major classes, the live video streams and the on-demand video streams. And both can be found in a corporate environment as well as in recreational use. What makes this live video streams unique and challenging is that the data is transferred on the network as soon as it is produced in real time. And when you have multiple users watching the live video streams, there are as many live video streams on the network as the number of users. It is a one-to-one -one relationship, one video stream for every user. What we have done here at Riverbed is a unique solution on video stream splitting. We fetch one video stream from the server and split it into as many users there are that are watching the stream locally in the branch office. Now let's look at the diagram here. The picture on top is the normal behavior. When you have three clients watching the live video stream and they're fetching three video streams over the van. The amount of van bandwidth used by this office is three times that of one video stream. Now when you deploy a steelhead, the steelhead with its video intelligence can identify that these three clients are watching the same video at the same time and we fetch one video stream from the server and split that stream and serve to these three users. The amount of WAN bandwidth used here is equal to that of one stream as opposed to three streams here. And yet, the end users have a very high quality end user experience, same as before. That's the power of the Riverbed solution. We have predictable WAN bandwidth usage to one video stream's worth of WAN bandwidth and a high quality end user experience. Now let's look at a real test that we have performed in our Riverbed Tech Labs. And in this case, this is a game that have the recent basketball game that happened uh, recently, and we are fetching the video stream from ESPN. We have three clients going, and each of them is fetching a HD quality video stream at four megabits per second. And this is a graph that represents the amount of bandwidth used over time. The dark blue shaded area is the WAN bandwidth. As the clients start watching, the band bandwidth continues to increase to about 12 megabits per second. That is three times that of one HD quality stream. And at this point, we turn on the live video stream splitting solution on the steelhead. Now see the dramatic reduction in the WAN bandwidth usage to down to about four megabits per second. The light blue shaded area of eight megabits per second is something that we have not transferred on the WAN, but is served locally on the LAN after splitting the stream. Now, as you think about a solution for your growing video needs, think about three things. First, does your solution address all kinds of video types, including live video streams? Second, does your solution offer predictable WAN bandwidth usage and save on the bandwidth costs? And third, do your end users have very good experience watching these videos? Can your solution do that? Learn more at riverbed.com. Thanks for watching. <music>